Hey guys, Blakey here and welcome back to another video. So today I actually have a tutorial for you guys on how to make tile maps on Photoshop. So tile maps are used for level design in Unity and uh, other game design uh, such as Unreal Engine and stuff like that I'm guessing but I know Unity for sure uh, work with tile maps so I'm going to be showing you guys how to make them and make them seamlessly connect so it looks really really professional so the first thing that we're going to do is going to bring up a new uh, a new photo set so I always go with 32 by 32 pixels uh, it's the best blocks to go for then when you're in unity you can set the pixels per unit to 32 to, so it uh, exactly fits so we're just going to go ahead and load this up make sure the background content is uh, transparent it always helps resolution at 72 color modes rgb all of this stuff and just go ahead and hit okay so now if we go to view fit on screen this is your little thing i'm going to press ctrl h to get rid of this grid so i'm going to be working with pixel art to show you guys today so to do that uh, we can go to preferences, guides, grids and slices, and set grid lines every one pixels, subdivisions one. And that's all you have to do. And now we can just seamlessly draw it like this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a grass tile today. So we're going to be doing uh, straight uh, corners and I'm going to show you how it all perfectly matches up. If you guys need to know how to use tile maps in Unity, I can do a separate video on that also. So first things first, I'm just going to draw a nice little bottom line like that. So the first thing, you need to make sure one end, that both these ends match. So they're on the same line. Uh, same for up here. So we're going to do it just like this. And again, these top two corners, they must be there. So now we can just fill up this middle and we have our top layer. It's very important that across all your corners and your sides that this line always matches to make sure it's seamless, right? So now I'm going to add a slightly darker layer. Uh, we'll go up to about here. So two blocks down. So you can do the same for this side. And then you can just kind of wiggle it around like that. And then we can fill that middle bit in. And now, finally, we can do the mud. See, this tutorial, it's very, very simple making tile maps once you understand how to. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that. And here we have a very, very basic grass tile. So I'm just going to add a little bit of detail to this uh, grass right here, just like that. Uh, and we'll do the same for the mud. Just add some dirt, just like this. Just dots here and there. And we have our first tile, guys. So if I was to drag this in here, we've got our first mini little tile. So if I go ahead and fit this on the screen. We've got a little tile here. So I'm gonna be showing you guys on this screen uh, just how to how it seamlessly goes across all of them um, this wouldn't accurate I'm literally just using this just to show you guys how they all connect so now we have this now the next thing we are going to do is go back a 32 by 32 again exactly like that now we're going to make a corner tile so if I drag this as a template and I drag it across just like this we make this the same color and drag the opacity of this one down a little bit so we know that we're working on this layer. So if we count across, this has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 across. So we're going to do the same here because we're going to be doing a corner all the way across like that. And we'll have a grass layer like that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now we have this layer. So I can just go ahead and make a little corner make it look pretty accurate like that we can now fill this in so you can already see how it begins to pan out so now if we go back across to here we can see that this layer is two down we have one two so now we know we can go one two and we can go one two and now we connect these just like so fill in the middle and we now have a darker layer finally we need to make this mud color the same we fill it in, and here we are. Now we're just going to add some detail very, very quickly. If I grab this and just drag that across like this. Just add some definition. Uh, do the same for the grass. So this is very, very basic, guys. You can add a lot more detail to your tile maps. I can do some pixel art uh, tutorials if you guys need so. Now we have ourselves a corner layer. So if I get rid of this and I drag this 
to our little box we made here. You guys can see how that perfectly fits and it looks like there is absolutely no difference. The last thing I do need to add though, uh, which I completely forgot to do, is just make some little dents in the grass just to make it look that little bit better. Oh, my bad. I just want to fill in this corner here, this little dot. There we go, and we have ourselves a corner. So just to show you guys how seamless this is, if I was to copy and paste this, so I'm going to duplicate this layer, enter it, and now we have this. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. So if I go 90, and I press enter, I can drag this across, and it seamlessly goes out like that. If I, here we go. Now I can, our little corner layer, where is it? This one. I'm going to duplicate this layer. And I'm going to rotate this one 90 degrees also. I'm going to drag it down. Here we go. Sorry about that, guys. If I drag this down, you can see we instantly have a match like that. You could do the same going all the way around and create a perfect circle. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to make an inner mud tile. So if we press view, fit on screen, go back to our layer, select the mud. This one's very simple. So now we have our mud got, uh, selected, guys. And just fill that in just like so. And now I'm going to go ahead and grab this little bit of detail here. I just had to switch from my tablet to a mouse. So it's going to look slightly worse because I had, um, I think my tablet, my, uh, my pen has just run out. So I'm going to add some detail just like this. Looks pretty crap, but I'm just rushing to show you guys. Uh, what we can do. So now I have this layout uh, and go straight across to here Fill this in the middle and you guys can see how this is already pairing up and you can see how uh, You could make a level out of this. So the next one we're going to need to do is an outer layer So our little grass tile is here. So then we can go upwards upwards like this and Upwards again. So if we go back here 32 by 32 view fit on screen so we know that this is 10 by, uh, the grass is 10 down. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we're going to do the same for the corner, uh, for this same corner. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm just going to double check that. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, I thought so. I knew I'd screw that up. So now I'm going to uh, do this, add some extra grass make it look a little bit more accurate now we can do this layer we know already that this is two down so if i go one two one two and then just add some definition add some extra grass here we go so now we can go one fill this bit in and you can already see how this is a little corner tile so finally of course we go to the mud fill that in and you know you guys know exactly what we're going to do now add some extra bit of definition so you can see this is mainly mud bit because this is an inner corner not an outer corner like the others hence why um hence why we're adding more like why we have more mud on this bit so finally i can grab this put this on here and if i rotate this 90 degrees i believe it would be not 900 i don't think that would make an actual difference <laughs> uh so if I grab this, you guys can see how we can now go up from here. So just to show you guys, if I can find the right layer, it's this one. If I duplicate this, if I press enter, go ahead and drag it over here. We now have a small little, a little thing going on. You guys can see how you can uh, make tiles out of this. If you need any help in the uh, on this tutorial on how to make tile maps, go ahead and let me know in the description if you need more detail. This was very brief, but this was a, um, a little bit of a Photoshop orientated tutorial. So I thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.